If you're watching this on the 13th of August 2012, you may have realised that the day before this day was the closing ceremony of the London 2012 Olympics, which is the 30th Olympiad. Because all the Bay Area members live more or less in London and live quite close to Stratford, we thought that it's best to have a week that we talk about the Olympics. So this is week 11 and we're talking about the Olympics. For the Olympics in general, I like the Olympics because it's like a great big party where everybody comes together and enjoys a good time having a competition or several competitions in a civilised manner. It's where all the countries just come together basically. And it's a good feeling to have, especially when you are hosting the events. And because London, where I live, is basically the centre of attention at this very moment, it feels really good that the whole world is watching one city and you're in that city. You live in the centre. I keep saying centre all the time. I even went to Westfield, the shopping centre, a few weeks ago on the opening ceremony day, just in the daytime, and I saw like everywhere I looked, I just saw people from different countries. It was like Kenya, China, Russia, UK. UK? Yeah. And it has a great feeling for me for some reason. It's a nice warm glow. Now, moving on to the London 2012 Olympics in particular. I actually liked it. It was, I mean, the opening ceremony was quite fantastic. I like the theme of showing the history of Great Britain and it shows how basically Britain became great because it showed from the Industrial Revolution all the way up to the modern day and that's a big change for Britain to have and that's why it became so successful in the whole world. One thing I wanted to point out... <laughs> Did you hear the TARDIS in the opening ceremony of the Olympics, because I know I have. I thought I was going mad for a second there, but then I went on the internet and I found out that other people heard it as well, and I wasn't the only one. So that felt so cool. Hey, listen to this now. Did you hear that? See, that? see, Doctor Who has left its mark on the Olympics. Ah, that's all I was waiting for, really. Um, I didn't go to see many events. I went to see one free one with Bertrand. I went to see the cycling, the road race, basically, which was on the first day of the events. Ooh, South Kensington. Got myself a hand thing. Oh! oh come on! Come on! Come on! That's cool. That was nice to see. I didn't know who won. I still don't know. So mm. I also wanted to say congratulations to Matt Smith, who is the eleventh Doctor. He was one of the torchbearers. He was the first one to do it in Cardiff. So well done. And for all the other Doctor Who fans, I hope you remember that episode where they showed the 2012 Olympics. David Tennant was also torchbearer. The closing ceremony was quite fantastic, you know, I liked it, it was a nice party to have and I love the fire fireworks and it's a really cool picture in the Metro, hold on, Metro, this is the front cover, this is actually a genuine picture of one of the coolest firework things I've seen in my lifetime, just look at that. I've jotted down three things that I don't like, the first thing I don't like is the logo that they made for the London 2012 Olympics. Ugh. The second thing I don't like is how people don't care about the Paralympics which is like, come on, I mean they do the whole party thing after the normal events but then like it always stays like quiet and dull after when it comes to about society caring about the Paralympics because like all the tourists and stuff they just go and it's just like, there. The team for the United Kingdom is called Team GB when it really should be Team UK. For those of you who don't understand what the difference is between Great Britain and the UK, 
Let me just give you a little brief explanation. Great Britain is just one island consisting of England, Scotland and Wales and the UK basically England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Hence it's from the name the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Can someone please put me out of my misery and explain to me why it's called Team GB when it should be Team UK? And it just like shoves away all the Northern Irish people. They're also a part of the team, but they're just not mentioned. That's confusing, but I feel really feel sorry for the Northern Irish because their name's not mentioned. That's all I have to say then. Bye-bye. See you next week.